Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sue Crafting. And I'm afraid on this rainy night I have some exceptionally tragic news to share with all of you. Junior, my wonderful son, the very first zombie villager we ever cured and raised, has been slain by a zombie. In a horrible twist of fate, while we were building our garden over at our home in a side quest yesterday, the zombie came in and he killed the junior, and... I I was stunned. I was stunned and devastated, but I have good news. The good news is we can bring him back in two different ways, actually, because it turns out Junior, uh, we managed to catch him so that he is a villager zombie. So we can go ahead and cure Junior and make him not a villager zombie anymore and back into a normal villager. But he also happened... Oh, look, that gravestone just spawned a skeleton. That's his gravestone. He also happened to leave a gravestone, and in that gravestone, I think we might find Junior's body. And if that is the case, we can actually, in a really spooky twist of fate, let me see if this works. Yep. We can actually, in a very creepy twist of fate, build um, an altar, I believe. I'm trying to figure out where it might be. Not that one. Yeah, there is an altar. I might have to, to contact... There it is. Here it is. This altar right here. I'm pretty sure if we build this altar, then we can actually resurrect uh, any of the corpses that we're able to pick up, which sounds really weird and creepy. But that is something we can do so we can bring back any villagers that might get slain by zombies in the future by building this altar. However, it is going to take another star. Uh, and I've never had to get another star before, so I'm not really sure, like, where do you get another star from? Um, how do you use it? What's it dropped by? How, like, what's a nightstone made from? It doesn't even have, I, I don't even know. We're going to have to, like, I could make a bone block at least, but we're going to have to actually contact Ben, I think, and leave a note for Ben that I need to know how to dabble in more dark magic and create altars and summon back my son. The good news is I think we already have my son in the easy peasy way of just curing him as a villager. But he's left behind another bit of his essence, a bit of his spirit right in there. So I don't want to leave him incomplete, but I think he now has another twin. So it's more like a twin of the spirit versus a clone. And let's get in here and destroy all these skeletons that are spawning. Alright, oh my gosh, no ghost! Junior spirit! No! Calm thyself, junior spirit! I will fix this! Mom will fix it! Dang it, go away, skeleton. Alright, we better hurry up. Let's close this real fast before anything else gets in here. And let's break open. Look at this. Junior was slain by a, a zombie. Had lived three days. He was a lot older than that. But let's go ahead. Oh, it's his corpse. I'm holding my son's corpse. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Junior. We need to bring him back. So I don't, I don't think we'll be able to bring him back just yet. Oh, I think these doors like glitched out. And they don't read light levels, and I think that's how a zombie got in here. Oh, who knows? I'm going to put a torch back here and put the doors back down. Oh, Junior. This is really weird, Junior. It's very creepy, I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't particularly enjoy holding your, your dead body in my hands. So this is, this is definitely outside of my normal comfort zone. Definitely outside of what I normally, what I normally do, what I normally am able to create. Let's see, let's go up here. Yeah, the zombie must have spawned inside this library to be able to get Junior. I just have no idea how, so we'll put down a bunch of torches to try to purify, like purify the evil spirits that managed to get into the, the library. Oh my gosh, more torches. I'm going to hire Mara. We're going to hire Mara, so it looks like we need to go and leave notes. Let's put Junior's corpse safely away. I think that, that like he's split in two. So we've got one half of him in the zombie villager, and we've got the other half of him in this empty corpse. So his spirit has shattered. Probably not a good thing, to say the least. And let's go ahead and put him down inside of our cryogenics lab for now. Darling, darling, horrible news. You won't believe what happened to Junior. Look, he's dead. He's dead, darling. Look at him. Look at him. Oh my gosh, my tiny little junior, look at him! That's ridiculous and sad and ridiculous. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Ah, oh, hang on. Okay, so many buttons. All right, there we go. Let's let's just let's just go and tuck him downstairs. I'm going to put him where he's going to be nice and safe, and I have no idea where to get a knight stone, no idea how to get another star. I have a feeling it's going to be a little complicated, so we definitely need to write a couple letters. One to Ben, because we're going to need to start dabbling even more in the dark magic, and the other to Mara. Oh, there goes another zombie. Ugh. All right, Professor Cowplant, I need this. We're going to put him very gently in here, a little gravestone. A little poppy and I will be back for you son or half of you oh that's so weird how we now have two juniors again in a, the weirdest way the story of junior just continues to be absolutely amazing but let's see I need to make some golden apples and we'll cure the current villager that we've got um, the villagers on me because I think that's like half of junior's spirit and then we'll just have to figure out how we can resurrect the other half of his spirit and what to do with the two new juniors. <laughs> I hope it won't like do anything negative to him. All right, do I have any? Let's take some apple juice. Whew. Mara is really rescuing our rumps with having the food already pre-cooked for us. And let's see. So now I need to make some golden apples because we have this zombie villager. We've got one upstairs and I believe this is a zombie villager too. Maybe. Maybe. I know some of these are actually, um, I know some of these, I'm pretty sure this is a zombie baby, a zombie baby, zombie baby, but I'm pretty sure we've got one zombie villager upstairs, so we need to make three health syringes to use, and so we need golden apples. Oh my gosh. All right, well, let's go downstairs and get some gold. Well, let's go upstairs first. Oh, Martha, thank you. Another dodo egg. We're collecting those for Anasia. Let's go upstairs first. Oh, I just can't believe this drama. I just can't believe this. Okay, and yeah, gifts of gratitude. Here's a zombie villager in a reusable safari net, no less, that was given to me by Alex. We need to really focus on trying to get, like, everybody presents pretty soon. So start leaving suggestions for awesome presents. We could leave Alex, Mara, Inesia, Nirne, and Ben. Oh, so many friends. Just listing them all off like that made my heart lift up because that's so many amazing friends that we now have in addition to this world. It's just fantastic. All right, so now we're down here. Uh, let's leave this running. I need to get as much iron pumped out of there as possible. And how much gold do I have? Not a lot. Not a lot. Okay. I don't have any gold. <laughs> really? <laughs> I have no gold for this. We're going to have to go mining. We're going to have to go mining so we can cure them up. Oh, because I'm going to have to cure them. All right, well, let's gently tuck these guys. In fact, let's go downstairs, and we're going to remove the werewolves and the chameleon, which is awesome, and all of these guys downstairs. Okay, I'm going to put the syringe away for now, and we're just going to have to go mining in one of our nearby areas until we have enough gold that I'm going to be able to make the health syringes because I need golden apples to do that. All right, so back down here. I can't believe my son. This is not something I can ignore. Junior dying like this. All right, well, let's see. Zombies. Oh, I think this is another. Is that a baby zombie? Oh, let's, we can. We, I know where we can release this elephant. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. We're going to eventually start curing these werewolves. We need silver skeleton swords or silver melted down to make a very special like trade that we're going to set up with one of these dark magic people. So we can cure the werewolves and turn them into villagers in the future. That's one of our goals. I think these are the zombie villagers. I think these are like baby villagers. I think we have three of them. Are you? Let's, let's get you out real quick. What are you? Baby villager. Baby zombie, I mean. Oh, jeez. All right, do I have an extra? Yeah, here we go. Let's swap you out because I could really use that reusable safari net. Watch out, Professor Cowplant the third. Ankle biter alert. There we go. And we'll add you to this little cluster. I think these are all baby zombies, but we'll have to we'll have to see. And these, I'm pretty sure, are all zombie villagers. Uh, which one was Junior? 99% this one was Junior. So we're going to put that one up there. Phew. All right, I don't want to get them mixed up either. All right, so let's come over here, and now I'm just going to have to go mining of all things Pigman Fern. I need to make it so he can trade. What should he trade in return for uh, giving us, like, gold nuggets? Because Pigmen give gold nuggets. So that's a thing. We can make that a thing. I know where to release that elephant. Oh, I needed to put the chameleon down there, too. 
The chameleon is so cool. I am absolutely in love with the chameleon. I cannot wait to build. The chameleon exhibit is probably one of the next things we're going to do. And why does this keep happening? Who knows? Who knows why this keeps happening? I'm not going to question it. I'll fix it eventually. I'll fix all of this eventually. All right. And we're going to go ahead and this will be one of our first exhibit areas for animals that we're going to keep. So I'll put that in there. And let's go mining. Because I need gold. I desperately need gold to cure my son. Ooh! You know what? Major Calhoun, Captain Kaz, I'm going to lodge an official complaint pretty soon about, like, everything. Yeah, I'm going to have to hire Mara. I'm seriously going to be like, Mara, no joke, I'm hiring you to come and help me figure out how to fix all of my, my kaboom areas, please. All right. This is going. Are they still making more iron? I wonder if they are. Are they out? No, it looks like it's it looks like it's filling up. Are you filling up? It looks like it's filling up. Are you going to make an iron block? Is there enough iron for that? It might be close to being empty by now. All right, let's go. I'm going to have to check this real quick. Cuz actually if we can empty the smeltery, that means we can make a lot more gold. All right, so what is, what's the supply? There's plenty of iron. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that. We actually need to leave that running for a long time because we need to make lots and lots of blocks. So I'll leave that alone. All right, yep, it just made a block, so that's fine. All right, torches, 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 coal, armor. Uh, let's get a whole bunch. Of, here's a bunch of peat coal. Here's a bunch of coal ore. Here's a bunch of coal here. I need lots of sticks. Let's grab these sticks. And how much torches does each peat coal make? Okay, two. And normal coal makes four. So peat coal isn't quite as efficient, but it is something in a pinch. All right, I need to throw this in here. And I have some gunpowder now, so I need to throw that in there. And let's see, love, there's some more loot. No, I need the armory. There we go. And there's some arrows. I really want to make an infinity bow or a really, really, really powerful bow with infinity on it would be amazing. So that'll be, that's in the plans. All right, and let's put the torch away, or not the torch, the chisel away, and move the backpack. And I think we are ready to go. And I actually want to go and explore some of the areas that are in the side of our little highlands area. So let's wiggle down here. Hello, Sunflower and Astro Seed. I hope you guys are doing wonderfully. All right, here we go. There's another wild chocobo. While we're down here, I might collect some of the wild rice. Oh, really? You want to fight me? My sword of light will take you on. Oh, I thought I heard a creeper, like, getting ready to blow up behind us. And I was like, oh, fudge. Of course I had to ask for it. But check it out. 59 kills from the monsters defeated on um, our little sword of light so far. I'll collect that wild rice later. Now is not the time for wild rice. Now is the time to bring my son back to life. And we're going to do that by finding... To do some, we're gonna ignore that Komodo dragon. No, 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 no. I said I was gonna ignore you. Stop it. Dang it. Dang it. Oh, I hate it when I have to do that. All right, who else is? Oh, I'm still just poisoned. That's the problem. You guys, what are you all doing down there? Okay, there you go, buddy. I think life's gonna be a lot better for you from now on if you're not stuck in a hole. I'm going to put the moss back down. Mr. Little Slime, where are you going? There you go. All right, so let's see. Oh, is that a creeper? No, that's just a, a bunch of uh, grass. Oh, my goodness. Poor Junior. All right, well, look, there's a cave, so let's just start over here. Oh, is that a fish? <gasps> there's wild stingrays in my river. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, my gosh, that's fantastic. That perks me up. Like, I'd be sadder about Junior and completely devastated if it wasn't for the fact that I have a good feeling we'll be able to bring him back to life. At least I really hope that's the case. It just is an awkward little mining trip for, for gold. All right. Oh, my gosh. What's this? It's just so pretty. Ah, uh, that's pretty, too. Stop being so pretty. I'm trying to get stuff done. Why must it all be so pretty? Potential future pieces that we can use. Oh, stop. Why? There we go. Oh, so lovely. So we have Jasper and 
rhodochondrite. Rhodochondrite or in the Amazonite. I'm always in love with the Amazonite. I've noticed that. I really like it. All right, let's get up here and get out our torches. Wow. Okay. 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 He's like staring down at me. Oh, jeez. Rude. Rude. Okay. Run. Oh, I fell down a hole. Why? No. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm up in my bedroom at least, and I know where I died, and I just want to pout right now. Oh, let's get my let's get my sword from my friend. It's gonna have to help me. The sulfur leaf sword. I cannot believe, darling. Can you believe that? I just got kabilzled. Just got killed. I have my own gravestone now. This is this is the day of graves at this rate. I I died on a quest to rescue my son from dying. I don't think that bodes well for my abilities as a mother. It just doesn't seem to. Alright, well let's hurry up. I know, right, Sunflower? I'm super embarrassed. A little bit concerned. At least all my, my gear and supplies will be A-OK -okay because we have the graveyard mod installed. I'm going to make sure that I have this sword at the ready. Probably need to rename it um, Ben's Leaf Sword. Or something like that. The Bitter Leaf. Or something like that. So I'll figure it out. I cannot believe that. At least I know where my death point is. I can go over. Apparently that cave is full of doom! Watch out, Mr. Sheep, because that cave, that cave is full of doom, Mr. Sheep. Why can I not get up there? Alright, let's see. Let's jump this way. And jump this way. Are you still in there, Mr. Skeleton? No, he's not. His rude self. Look at this. Uh, see, seriously was killed, shot by a skeleton, had lived four days. I was older than that. Oh, why? <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, we're good. Look, I have my own grave now. Well, that's a new thing. It's a new, new feature. All right. I'm going to swap. What? Because this is seven. I'm going to keep that as a backup sword, I guess. I'll have to put it back so that we have my backup sword for the future. All right, and for now, let me grab this pick. For now, I'm keeping the torches like this. All right, let's do this. No! Rude, 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 rude. All right, really quickly. Mm-hmm. And I need to get up here. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Oh my gosh, is there seriously, there's a humongous cave system under here. How am I going to just find the gold I need? Super quickly. I wonder if anything drops gold. <gasps> gold orberry bushes! Oh, did I bring over all my orberry bushes? I don't think I brought over my orberry bushes, and Kath's already deleted the old world. <laughs> That's what I have to say to that. Frustration noises. Alright, so there's this. Alright, so we're on a mission for gold. Oh, I can't believe this. It's really hard starting over in a new world, to be honest, because you lose like all your good stuff and your your confidence and your ability to to when you run out of a resource, just be able to get like access to it again. All right, is that all? Okay, so this cave didn't go quite as big as I thought it would be on the exterior, but I would bet you the interior has more to it than meets the eye. Hmm. All right. So we're on a mission to rescue Junior. Let's see, what's this? Is this fluorite? This is indeed fluorite. Yeah, we're on a mission to rescue Junior and manage to bring him back to life. And that means getting some gold. And this is that moment where I have that sense of frustration but determination. The fact that we are not able to just like whip out my old, my old warberry bushes reminds me of just how far we went on the old world. And it's a pity, but because everything's gone now, I can't really refer to it. So we're just gonna we're just gonna move forward. I'm not gonna dwell on it any longer. We're just going to start fresh. We're gonna do what we can. I'm gonna gather this stuff up because it looks awesome. And I hear zombinos, so I wonder. We'll figure out if there's a way to go deeper 
deeper under this area. Hmm. And I probably I probably should go ahead and gather up that coal and maybe consider getting some access to some wood. And we're going to go in, guys. We're going to explore inside of our little highlands area and see if we can find plenty of gold and other bits and pieces so that we can bring back Junior and just start building up our resources. We can't underestimate that. So I will see you guys next time and wish me luck for being able to bring my son back. Bye, guys.